Mr. Speaker, members of the House, I rise in opposition to this bill. When you add a list, you acknowledge its importance. And when you leave out names, you leave people exposed. When you leave out categories, you leave people exposed. Last year, on this floor, I gave a, house, a speech that some of you may remember. Two years ago, I took a trip to retrace my family roots. They came through Ellis Island. My first stop was in New York City to see where my family came through fleeing from persecution. They found new land with hope for a better life, with hope to be able to be who they were without fear of being killed. I saw our name on the wall at Ellis Island. From there, I flew to Warsaw, Poland, where family was gathered up with millions of other Jews into ghettos before being sent on a train to Auschwitz in Birkenau, where my next stop was, where 75 people from my family were killed after they were made to work, starve, and then be pushed into a gas chamber. And I hear from a lot of people that have visited there that it's a very moving experience for them. It's a completely different experience when you go there and you see the luggage, the glasses, the hair, the items left behind from my family. It's an even deeper thing as you sit there and meditate and realize that they could be mine. Those could be my glasses, my luggage, my hair. The interesting thing about being Jewish is that it's more than just a religion. It's an ethnicity. It's an ancestry. And for me, it's not my religion. It is not my faith. But if I were born in 1900, I would have been made to wear one of these. I would have been made to wear one of these. I would have been made to live in a ghetto. I would have been put on a train and sent to a concentration camp, made to work and eventually gassed to death. And with this incomplete list, that would not be considered a hate crime. By omission, you leave people exposed. Ancestry, ethnicity are not on this list. I urge your defeat. Thank you.